homelessness, drug ODs, violent crime, and psychosis threaten to overwhelm the public safety once considered basic to the country's major cities. Wow, looks like there's one writer whose BLM t-shirt didn't save him from a mugging. I hope his biggest problem now is how to get that Biden-Harris bumper sticker off his Audi. Okay. But of course, some true believers... What's going on with JF P? So someone comments on Twitter that his personal life is insane. JF says, indeed, not by my choice, though. I love life rather relaxed personally. That's absolute delusion, right? JF loves chaos. He thrives on dysfunction. Uh, this is his choice. This is the life that he built. I built the life I've got, all right? Life I've got right now, I chose it. I built it willingly, unwillingly, wittingly, unwittingly. This life is what I chose. And JF's life is what he chose too, right? I mean, the people that we attract into our life that we have relationships with are dramatic reflections of, of us. Breaking international dissident right news coming at you live. We weren't expecting to do this one tonight. I guarantee you that. But we have breaking international drama news of the likes nobody was expecting here from JF Gary Epi point saying that the police in Canada are looking for Mama JF because in true Mama JF fashion she has left her home in June and has disappeared from the map. I am sure that Mama JF is fine. I know she has been safe for at least two days after I dropped her where she wanted in June. Mama JF left our home entirely voluntarily to go live a life of adventure wherever it would bring her. But I can't do the French mm -hmm. accent, super sorry about that. But since she has electronically disappeared, but since she has electronically disappeared, not connecting to her cell phone or dating me or her family, I ask anyone who would have encountered her to just notify the police so that they can know she is safe and ask her if she wants to leave a note to the police, me or her family, to ensure everyone of her safety. If you want to send an encrypted tip anonymously, <laughs> I can receive them at jfgaryepi at proton.me. Not making this up. Mama JF's missing. I can add a bit more context to this. Canadian police, I don't know anything about disappearance. I mean, drama, old alt-right content, which I'll do in a moment. But we'll just follow up. Somebody asked JF a couple of questions here. Somebody said, you were the last known person to see her since June. And Jeff says, whoa, 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 whoa. No, she hasn't been traveling and leaving an electronic trace far from mine. So I do not expect to be a suspect in her disappearance. <laughs> okay, Jeff. Okay, there, dude. All right. So we got confirming there. Confirming. Jeff's confirming. What did somebody say? You really covered your bases then, huh? <laughs> So, look, so just to be clear, in case of any misconstrued sense that I'm making any allegations, I want to be absolutely clear that JF has not buried Mama JF under the patio, okay? That has not happened, okay? There is absolutely no reason why JF should be a suspect in the disappearance of Mama JF. Everybody, oh, we've got that clear. Now, just for the little bit of context then that I promised you I'd give you is... If you've not been following up on the JF, Mama JF, law and history, uh, well, I won't give you the full backstory. You have to know who JF and Mama JF is. He's a Canadian YouTuber. Started uh, one of the early guys on the alt right, basically. Now, Mama JF is an interesting character, uh, but she did she did leave him a little while ago, publicly. And um, this was widely reported by JF himself when the very immediate next day, he did a contest for a new wife and invited applications from his viewers to become his new Mama JF. Uh, now, uh, despite receiving many requests from adoring fan fangirls around the world wishing to be, uh, become the new Mama JF, fly out to Canada and become the new breeding uh, <laughs> a partner for JF to inseminate. His words, not mine. That's what he was looking for. He was looking for a lady ready for insemination. Despite this, uh, that all those uh, searches and uh, the contest for a new Mama JF fell through, and what happened was Mama JF returned to the home that she. We, we don't know because JF is pretty private about what goes on about his relationship with Mama JF and stuff. He's been very private. He always avoids questions about particularities to do with, uh, for instance, I'll just say it, whether they have any children. 
Now, this is on the back of the fact that one of his main talking points is the importance of having children. And so in order to do this talking about having children, it's pretty hard to hide the fact as to whether you're currently parenting. And so for a long time doing his show, he's spoken as if he was currently parenting, not just being an absent father, for instance, paying uh, by his own will or non-will and paying like support to another mother, which I think we do know exists somewhere else from a previous marriage or relationship uh, as well as anything else. But so Jeff talks about the importance of procreating uh, and having babies and doing this. He, he would often speak as if it was something he was currently doing. Uh, and then when Mama Jeff left, this time that I just told you about when they had the um, when Jeff had the contest for a new wife, uh, he's, there was some real weird moment where he said, she has left me, however, she has left me with a very special present. And the inference basically is, was, and was taken by many in the audience to be a baby. That somehow, <coughs> without <coughs> without any of the viewers really noticing, somehow Mama JF, at some point, had had a baby with JF and effectively had left the baby uh, in the home there with JF. Now, also, during this period of time while she was gone, there were a couple of instances where uh, doing Jeff, he, he would also say to, to corroborate this line of thinking, this evidence that uh, there was a baby that he was now caring for alone, at least one. Uh, he would say like, it was suddenly, there were suddenly many more family commitments. Bearing in mind, uh, this would otherwise be an empty house apart from Jeff. He was talking about suddenly many more family commitments, that Mama Jeff was no longer there, etc. But also, there was a couple of occasions, at least a couple, that I noticed myself where in this period of time where Mama Jeff had disappeared, uh, it, there was a sound of a baby crying that could be heard on the show, and all of a sudden JF would go, uh, I have to go for a moment, and suddenly mute and turn the camera black, and then come back and go, everything is fine, everybody, it, it, just a moment, I had to go and take my hay fever medication or something. So the body of evidence suggests there was a baby. There was a baby. I, I, I even joked, we don't know if Mama JF has had the baby or stolen it. <laughs> But there was a baby involved, at least. Now, fast forward to June, I believe it was, of this year. So now June, July, August, September. We're in October. About four months ago, I kind of went around when I just stopped streaming, because I was going to stream about it, I remember. Mama JF has since left JF again. Gone. She's gone. She's done a flit in the night. And uh, I, I noticed this because somebody... If I can find it for you, if I'd have prepared, I'd have the tweet to show you. But it was somewhere in June, June the 7th or something like that. Somebody had said to Jeff, where is Mama Jeff? I hope she's okay. And he replied, she had left me again. And then since he's talked about it on the show, that Mama Jeff is no longer around. And then a few months. Okay, here's a video of uh, Jeff Gotta pee. Uh, Personal that I'm forced to talk about at this point. It's uh, I've been wanting to keep it relatively calmer and less... Uh, less public but uh, i've been forced by the by the various events because people have discovered about it and so i might as well talk about it instead of letting rumors develop and all of the uh, all of the messy information that can step uh, that can stem from it um so yeah it's the disappearance of mama jf mama jf has been disappearing in the sense of not leaving uh not leaving any contact not leaving information about where she was uh and i titled my episode the cost of liberty because i didn't want any of this I'm just a family guy, and I've always been wanting to provide and secure for people around me. Uh, but there is one thing I cannot do in our society. I cannot stop you from doing crazy stuff. I cannot stop you from exposing yourself to risks when you say the words, I want to do it. When, when you claim your own liberty, you are on your own. No, we cannot uh, stop what other people say and do. We have no power. I can introduce someone to a book and they can blow up their life over it. And that's not on me. That's on them. All right. Other people act and speak for their own reasons. On the other hand, we do have some influence over people. And I cannot do anything to protect you. And so <clears throat> that uh, I don't know if Mama Jeff is in danger. I don't know where she is. Uh, but at this point, I'm forced to talk about it because people are spreading rumors on the Internet. Because So, so I'll just give you my... <clears throat> my perspective on all of this and 
And you know, people are, are accusing me of murder on, on the internet. It's like, you guys don't know. You guys don't know the police. I've been speaking with the feds on an everyday basis uh, for a couple of days now, for maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of days. For a couple of days, I've been speaking uh, to the police <clears throat> on a regular basis. So it all stems from Mama JF, you guys know, and I've stated it publicly in June, she left. She didn't want, uh, she, I mean, it's not even clear why she left. And she's done it in the past. You guys have seen it. We have been following the show for years. Uh, she, she wanted to go away. So that's, that's all uh, we often know with Mama JF. She wants to go away. She had done it once and had come back uh, to us um, weeks after. Uh, and you'll remember, she, she came on the show on the day she came back and she said something along the lines of, uh, well, I thought you, want, you didn't want to be with me anymore. Uh, and so... Moments ago, we're now fast forwarded to a few moments ago where JF has just put out on Twitter that the police in Canada are looking for Mama JF. <laughs> we have a theory in chat here that, again, just to, uh, we must phrase all this as alleged. Somebody here in the chat alleges that no white guilt has done it to silence her. Well, that's another story in its entirety. Yeah, Mama JF was absolutely scared to death of uh, the character who goes by the name No White Guilt because he has a particularly intense look that uh, just scared her, uh, triggered something from her past. She just started screaming at him. Sad situation for the potato was very much indeed, very much indeed. But again, just to be clear. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh. <clears throat> and, and I said to her, no, no, you left of your own will. Uh, but, but she says yes, and then she says yes, but I thought, I thought you wanted me to leave. That is sometimes the, the state of delusion in female minds, and I can't do anything about this. I have zero control over this. If we were in the society, the Christian society of 1920, maybe I could file some report and say, hey, my wife is a little crazy, she's a little out there. Can I control, can, can I own her, basically? <laughs> and I'm sure that, that there were, uh, I mean, basically you didn't have to file that paper in 1920s. Because in, in the 1920s, this was called marriage. <laughs> but we are not in the 1920s, and we are in 2023 where uh, we have an experiment going on in society. What happens when you let these females do whatever the fuck they want? Well, <clears throat> what happens is that they sometimes make bad decisions. So um, in June, she left. And, and two days after leaving, so she left and she had a whole plan. She had... She had bought uh, camping material. She was on her way to some sort of survivalist trip. From what I understood, it looked like she was preparing for life in the wild. Uh, she promised me when she left that she would always be reachable and that I would be able to reach her to deal with all of the official papers. You know that she owns a lot of stuff and sometimes I need her signature. And I was like, and, and although, you know, we, we do have legal remedies for this. I was like, uh, if you totally disappear, you might put me in trouble on some bills, on some, you know, getting utilities and everything. So, so she promised to me that she wouldn't fully disappear. Um, and um, she went away. And two days later, she, she talked to me on the phone and sent a message. But by the way, everything I, I tell you is things I have told to the police. So it's, uh, it's not, uh, there's no secret coming out that you guys are hearing. It might be secret from a public perspective, but it's all things that the feds have been knowing for a couple of days. So the last uh, message that she sends me uh, in June, two days after leaving, and it had been apparent, I think I may have been in contact for a couple of times during these two days, so I was sure that she was progressing through whatever trip she wanted to do. I knew that she was still alive. Uh, but two days uh, after leaving, she says, I have changed my plans. I will not hold my promise uh, toward you. I will not be reachable. And, I, and it's like, okay. Uh, I, she says, I have a new plan. And I'm like, does your new plan involve any sort of attack against me or the family? Because you guys know how, much, how important that is to me. She says, you don't have to be worried. My new plan does not involve you. I'm just going to change cell phone. Now, I knew that she had left without any sort of electronic tracking. You know how the police can track you with your credit card, with your debit card. She had left with nothing but her phone. So when she said that to me through text, I concluded, okay, she's going off grid. You know, she's going full survivalism. <laughs> and kind of in her, in her fashion. I mean, that's the way Mama JF is. So changing her phone, to me, it meant I'm... I'm dropping potentially my own identity behind. I'm potentially disappearing in nature. I'm potentially, I mean, she could be anywhere from there. Uh, so, and that's what I was explaining to the police. You know, Mama JF, you, you remember the story she told on her video on YouTube where she talked about crossing the border in, in Spain and in the enclaves of Spain in North Africa. Mama JF is a fucking extreme, like 007 level of like 
fugitive mentality. Uh, and I, I was kind of telling that to the police uh, jokingly, half jokingly, but it's like she, she's a professional fugitive who doesn't commit crimes. <laughs> so it's like she's going to be hiding from you as, as hard as she can while also not having anything to reproach to herself. But that's just how she is. So, I mean, she, she and so from there, I'm like, I'm going to drop myself behind. I'm going to disappear. Uh, you're not going to be able to reach me. So that is uh, what I've been knowing since June. And of course, you're faced with the big, should I call the police? This is a willing woman, a willing adult woman doing her willing stuff. So I've not called the police because in my view, there was no evidence of criminality. There was no evidence of distress. It looked like to me, someone who has decided to go survivalism. Will I report someone for being survivalist? I mean, th this reminds me of the, of the Facebook post. You know, it, has one of your loved ones gone to survivalism? Has one of your loved ones bought too much campaign material? <laughs> that is literally one of the Facebook book posts. But I don't want to be in the society where buying campaign material gets you reported to the Fed. And I am bound. I am bound to Mama JF Santeras because I've loved her and I still love her. And I still consider, I, I consider myself allied to her forever. Uh, forever, no matter what she does, even if she goes out there going, getting other boyfriends, I consider myself tied to her forever. So at this point, I'm in front of this information, and I've decided that this was not warranting a call to the police in June. And I've spoke to her, I've spoken to her family, and they thought similarly, you know, this is Mama JF. Uh, <clears throat> she is an out there woman, and uh, it's not the first time she does this. Uh, Okay, I'm going to take off uh, now. Talk to you blokes later. Bye-bye.